applying for a job with a, a criminal record is as challenging as serving time itself. The amount of stress is indescribable. It's absolutely difficult. When filling out a job application, there's a sense of anxiety, you know, because you know the question is coming. My heart stops. And you kind of feel the air come out of the room. You get nervous. It's overwhelming. Whenever I saw that box, I can almost see the line in my mind. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Of a crime? Been arrested? Violated any law? I know that whatever I put in that box is going to prevent me from providing for myself. If I am honest, would they automatically throw the application in the garbage? Every time I had to check that box, I knew that my chances had significantly decreased to being hired for the position. Finding a job is difficult if you have a criminal record. Just ask the more than 700,000 people who leave incarceration each year. I was incarcerated for six and a half years. I went to prison when I was 18. I made a bad decision. I falsely believed that you do the crime, you do the time, and that's the end. When I came home from prison, your entire life is different. Reentry for women, it's a little bit more emotional. I didn't know how difficult it was gonna be. First thing I wanted to do was, you know, get a job. I had family that was counting on me. I believed someone would be willing to say, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna give you a shot. They wouldn't hire me. It's estimated that one in three U.S. adults have a criminal record that will show up on a routine background check. That's at least 70 million people. Something that you've done when you were young continues to follow you. Your criminal record does enter the room before you get there. I do refer to it as an invisible life sentence. It's always there. Background checks for employment have a disproportionate negative impact on people of color. Though research has shown that many individuals with prior criminal histories pose no greater risk of future criminality than do people with no criminal history. I am thoughtful, I'm dedicated. I'm energetic. I'm articulate. I'm honest. I'm competitive. The main thing that employers need to know about people who have criminal records is that they're people, they're human beings. They just want to take care of their families. I am a veteran, but the truth of the matter is, is no one cares that I serve my country honorably. If this is the land of opportunity and second chances, why second chances only happen for certain people? That's why NAACP is encouraging employers to ban the box. This initiative asks that employers not ask questions about criminal history in the initial job application stage, and instead ask about criminal history after a conditional job offer is made. Employers may not ask about arrests. They should provide applicants the opportunity to explain their criminal history and allow for evidence of rehabilitation. The Ban the Box initiative creates a path for individuals with a criminal record to have a fair opportunity to prove themselves worthy candidates of the job they seek. I found employment at a telemarketing company. I run a nonprofit. I've been in the waste industry for 12 years now. I am a director of communications and special projects. I'm a doctoral student in the Howard University History Department. People returning from prison who gain employment are one third less likely than their counterparts to return to crime and are more capable of turning their lives around permanently. We do need Ban the Box. Ban the Box is a move in the right direction. There are so many Americans walking around our streets with broken spirits because employment opportunities are denied them. Ban the Box is a substantial first step. We need everybody working. We need other substantial measures that will allow people to work to provide for themselves and their families. More than 17 states now have fair chance hiring laws on the books and key national retailers have enacted their own policies that help people with conviction histories make a real contribution to their communities instead of being permanently excluded. But more work is needed. Join the NAACP's initiative to ban the box. You can start by using the NAACP Reentry Toolkit to learn how you can make an impact in your community by one, connecting with and assisting people who have criminal histories. Two, educating the public about the challenges people with criminal histories face. Three, engaging with state and local lawmakers to pass fair chance legislation that applies to their contractors and vendors, abides by the EEOC guidance of 2012, and requires transparency throughout the background check process. And four, encouraging state and local employers to also ban the box and abide by the EEOC guidance of 2012 by changing their hiring practices to employ people with criminal histories. 
Banning the box strengthens our communities by giving everybody a fair chance to get a job, no matter their criminal history. Use the NAACP Reentry Toolkit and let's work together to make a difference.